very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking of course as usual we need to preview the results of the signals and from the premium group and to be honest uh, we had about two weeks they were really bad but I will explain to you that it was not our fault what happened most of the losses were focused on the JPP pairs uh, we can see that the first week of August actually it was really fantastic it was full of green some red here and there and that's normal however the next week uh, the following week sorry we had some losses here and it was really one of the worst weeks we ever had in the group and please pay attention that most of the losses are on the pound pairs <coughs> Uh, like 90% of the losses are all on the pound uh, the pound has not been uh, really stable for Aug for the last month of August however uh, we managed somehow for the next week to manage to make it uh, actually better and we recovered with almost 645 pips of profit uh, the week uh, following that also the pound was not really stable so many losses happened on the pound pairs uh, however Ah, okay this is one of the messages from the members he is really happy and this is his first day in the group uh, he joined on September 5th and we can see his positive feedback uh, let me just uh, show you uh, the, the results of September so far is really amazing now the pound is finally getting a little bit stable and we are able to deliver really very fantastic results and I'm really proud of it I'm so happy that is what extreme trader can deliver to you when the market is stable and following and respecting the technical analysis so indeed this is a really good job uh, September so far is going really well and I'm so happy with the profits so far only three days and we are already in 20 winning trades and only three losses uh, with total of 1,175 pips of profit very good job Angela well done and I'm so happy to the clients in the premium group if you wish to join the, the premium group please contact Angela check the description in the video you can find the link to her telegram so now let's go to the main subject of this video which is the live trading session using the 20 pips a day strategy and for our new subscribers and followers who are just uh, new to this channel allow me to explain to you in a brief that if you want to understand the strategy I'm going to use in this video please uh, go to my channel and you can find here this video here Forex strategy 20 pips a day it will help you to understand the strategy I'm going to use in this video and by the way it is one of the best strategies you will ever see on this channel uh, followed by this uh, 70 pips profit uh, live trading video and I have also done a lot of videos showing the 20 pips a day strategy on live trading like this one 20 pips a day strategy live trading uh, this one here as well and so many I believe there is there is like five or six uh, of them on my channel so let's now try to find some setups here and sorry because I, <coughs> I don't know what's happening I'm just uh, I'm curious about the GPP GPY hold on I think we have something good here uh, GPP JPY has approached a previous level of a support here and it seems to be in really good position for selling and yes the sell has been placed uh, allow me to explain to you quickly what happened here what I saw here that the JPPY is having a very strong bull, uh, bullish momentum with a small reversals here and there these are the kinds of reversals I'm aiming and this one as well so this is the kind of reversal I want here so where can we expect these reversals to happen the, the answer is just go to back to the history check the chart back and look at that I am on the I am on the one hour chart we can see that here we had this previous support level however this support level after the breakout has become here a new resistance so we are looking now at a resistance uh, number one and now I have entered my trade on the resistance number two this is the first touch of the resistance number two and I can expect a small reversal and the good thing as I have explained before <coughs> uh, 20 pips a day working better on the pound pairs because a small reversal from the pound can give you really good profit therefore 
uh, I just want 20 pips from this trade and look at that just by that I will get the 20 pips this is all that I'm asking for I'm asking only for this small reversal now the good thing about 20 pips a day strategy is if you can find only one trade per day and accept 20 pips per day that is enough for you to make a decent profit along the week if you are a day trader this is the best strategy for you so you can actually use only one trade instead of keep scalping the whole day and risking losing your profit the thing here is this is suitable more for day traders who trade every day and in this video I'm going to to find at least three to four trades and you don't have to follow what I'm doing don't follow my money management and it's really risky uh, I'm just uh, professional in this uh, field and I know what I'm doing in case I lost I know how to recover the losses immediately uh, but you don't have to copy this uh, money management system I'm using also you don't have to enter three to four trades using this strategy uh, my point here because this is educational video I cannot just enter one trade and quit I need to show you more trades about how to use this strategy so we can see now uh, the pound GPY is already going in profit uh, let me now try to find something else and I will use the bigger time frames such as the four hour charts we need to find something that we can enter at the moment see this was supposed to be a good setup to start selling USDCHF but however there is no resistance here yet on this level we can see we just see a previous support but I don't see a previous resistance uh, therefore it doesn't seem really safe to enter um, uh, USDGPY has approached yes exactly I have drawn this uh, resistance line in the past and let me tell you something here uh, let's check out what happened before on the very same level we can see here this is the key support so this is a support level and the market has broken this support level and went up again so this support has become now the new resistance so we have here a resistance number one that is very good now we can expect the market again at the touch to create a resistance number two did I say two here I meant one sorry anyway uh, what I'm after here and the power of this strategy I'm not expecting the market to go down all the way to the support level no I'm just after the small reversal I just want the candle to reverse a little bit give me profit and then I will get out of this trade hopefully with the profit so let me just set my target to be 20 pips and exactly just like that and our target uh, is 20 pips it's very important that I explain to you something check this out on the USD GPY I have placed my trade here and my take profit here only because it is uh, gonna give me 20 pips of profit however uh, if I'm using my normal hit and run strategy I would exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance the nearest resistance to this candle is exactly this week here this week here this one it is the nearest resistance so let's say this week here it was up like that so in, in this case the nearest resistance would be here in that scenario I should not place my take profit to be at 20 and 20 pips I should set my take profit to be at the nearest resistance the nearest resistance is superseding the 20 pips okay you can see it now with the GPP GPY is reversing going down giving us a decent profit so far 25 24 pips of profit very good 25 dollars of profit uh, look at that I want to show you something also we can see here that since I have placed my trade on this resistance or previous support we have here also another support so it is really expected from the pound GPY to fall to keep falling until it touch this support level so this is another good reason to pick this uh, take profit because the market is expected to fall down or sorry to reverse uh, at this uh, level do you remember what I just told you about uh, the wick and we can see here the wick is right here and my take profit is below it yeah I know what I said before but again I have to explain to you this that we have here 
a support level therefore I don't think the market is going to reverse before touching the very same support level in the future which is right here at my take profit so far we are going in good uh, uh, trades uh, let me try to find the last one because I don't want to make this video long and I don't want to enter so many trades uh, I want to stick to my strategy just like two or three is enough here we are having something very interesting for the cat chf we are on the resistance level let me check one hour chart yes we can expect a reversal to happen here let me just check the past uh look at that in the past we have here a resistance number one occurred and then we had the resistance number two therefore I cannot enter the third attempt even on the four hour chart we can see it actually to be honest with you I just wanted to be sure we can see it clearly this week here representing the resistance number one now two and here is three which is big no and I never entered that to be safe always follow the first and second attempt and if you want even to be more safe the first attempt is the king uh, it's the best of them first attempt is number one. Ooh, ooh, you are you are gpy why we missed this trade i you can see i have placed my line here Ah, oh, damn it man i missed it oh 16 pips wow anyway no problem we can find something else uh let's see um just need to find some decent and good setup we can see that GBPCHF is going up uh, I don't want to make this video boring I believe I will just now pause the recording until I find a good uh, setup so I can show you uh, the trade so let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you soon okay check it out USD CAD is really good for sell at the point here and allow me to explain the reason is because we had here a support level has been breaking out and now we have here a resistance number one and now the market went down here reversing went up again exactly to hit the same level to create a resistance number two now the good thing here is you can see on the left that we had here a resistance and here as well and let's check the past I believe we will see some good resistance yes here and ex oh my god look at that exactly on the spot right here so this is a strong level as a resistance I don't think the market is going up at this point now it's a waiting game we need to wait these three trades to be in profit and I hope all of them will hit the target of the 20 pips we can see the candle is going up again and that is totally normal we just have to wait again my friends and this time I will pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you how we close these three trades and my friends we can see the GBP GPY is about to hit the take profit uh, we are reaching about 16 17 pips of the profit to be honest $35 is really good I uh, just don't really want to risk uh, for the sake of uh, extra two dollars I'm going to close it right now and almost 20 pips has been uh, uh, we, we got it from this trade uh, the next one here I am on the 15 minute time frame by the way uh, this is the USD GPY is also reversing as well so far in almost 11 pips of profit however uh, the USD CAD is not going so well and I believe I will close it now with the loss because this massive breakout candle it's really big uh, we are in loss of uh, almost 14 pips the good thing is look at the total the total now is zero so the this loss here has been recovered from the profit right here meaning if I close it now I pra practically I lost nothing but th that is not really good we want to trade here and make another more profit so let me now try to find something else hopefully we can find something um, while we're recording this video it's not really easy to force uh, setups and to find them anytime I want uh, it's just you know up to the market condition and if we can find good trades we will enter it uh, we are having here 
in the USD CAD, I can see that here we have a small resistance that we can relate and this one as well but however this bullish uh, breakout candle doesn't seem to be good and I don't think the market is going down after this one that's why I prefer to close it now with the loss before um, before the losses will be increased so however uh, $24 lost but also $29 is being made from the USDGPY so the losses has been recovered with the profit as well and still going in 12 13 pips of profit uh, let me now pause the recording and I'll find another third trade or sorry fourth trade so we can recover the losses from the USD CAD and we can see USD GPY is touching the take profit and I'm going to actually oh good <laughs> it did the job for me and already hit the take profit fantastic wonderful and we are in profit actually uh, now I need to find another setup and I'll be back to you my friends to show you if I find something in this market okay to be honest with you uh, all the setups that I have been waiting for has already been uh, breached by the market uh, it's gonna take a really long time to find another setups therefore I believe it's time to end this video uh, only three trades one of them in loss the other two in profit but uh, it's a good lesson for those who are afraid of losing a trade when you lose a trade always remember that you are a forex trader it's your daily routine to lose and then recover from another trade you see if from from any from, <laughs> you see it front of yourself that when i lost a trade i was recovering immediately at the same time from the other trade and that is fantastic i mean if you can do that always you will end in profit every day uh let me rephrase that you cannot end every day in profit but you will end most of the time in profit always remember my friends don't be afraid of losing a trade just be calm relax and remember there is plenty of setups are coming uh, to you so you can recover in the end uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching